All right, here we go. Here we go with some more uh, Marvel Universe figures. This time the uh, comic two pack with Spider Woman and Iron Man from the Secret Wars era, um, part of the uh, 21st anniversary of the Secret Wars um, series that they did, where they reprinted all the comics, and then they gave you a couple of figures. And I kept on passing on it, kept on passing on it, kept on passing on it, and then they were gone. And then another day, I went to my local Wally World, and on sale for what was it, like. Five ninety-eight or ninety-six, some of those weird numbers, whatever, was the two-pack, and I'm like, yeah, so I got it. On the back, um, I do have the other two 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 packs, I believe. I think. Oh, did I get the other? Did I get the? I may not have gotten the Cyclops and the um, Hulk. Hmm, I have to look into that. But I do know I got that one because that's like my favorite um, Secret Wars cover and my favorite Spider-Man costume. And then, of course, you got to have Magneto. It's just a great, great pairing there um, on Marvel's part. Um, then, of course, you got the uh, picture of the figures there and everything. The one thing that's kind of a trend, with, especially with the Marvel Universe figures, especially with the Spider figures, is they try to highlight the black by painting it blue, which is cool because you get some cool variants because there's there are some black versions of some figures, and, and there's some that you know are like this one with the blue highlights. Not a huge fan, so I kept on putting off getting it. I was hoping there'd be another release, or there's going to be a variant with the the other Spider Woman that they released uh, in the um, in the uh, orange and black. I can't remember. I can't remember which one of these is Jessica, which one's the other girl, and all that. But um, anyway, still cool figures. Now the Iron Man, I think I've got three or four of this same sculpt, but I think the paint is a little bit different. I know one's got a blue circle, then one's got a white circle, and this is just straight up gold. I think one may be just yellow instead of gold, but anyway, it's metallic pearlescent. So let me grab the knife, and then we're going to cut these two out of the packaging and check them out. All right, now we got these two out of the packaging. And uh, actually, the uh, Iron Man, his paint is awesome. I mean, it's all spot on, bright red, pearlescent, bright yellow, gold, pearlescent. It's all sharp. I mean, it's not perfect right there around the top of the boots, but that's a hard place for him to spray, and it's really rare you're going to find one that's perfect in that, in that spot anyway. But he's great, crisp, and bright. Perfect comic book two-pack um, action figure. Um, Spider-Woman. Now, just like uh, my my uh, black costume Spider-Man, um, Venom, um, I think the uh, my Mystique figure... Uh, I think they all had soft um, paint when it came to the uh, the white on the on the black or dark blue. Um, they have like a tampo thing going on. Let me get Iron Man out of here so it stops focusing on her, on him. Um, the, it has like a tampo for her stripes and stuff over the uh, airbrushing or the the spraying that they did. But the edges you can especially tell on the top of the um, spider there. It's just kind of soft. Her um, leggings there are just just kind of soft. Um, it could have been a little bit better. I mean, I could probably tape it off and respray it, but I'm probably not going to mess with it. Um, uh, at least not for a while until it really aggravates me. Um, now, Iron Man has like the regular articulation, but she has like the more simple articulation. She does have a ball jointed, um, well, more of a swivel head, but it, it's ball jointed. She has the um, ball jointed. Uh, let's get it down here; we can see it. it. Does have a ball jointed head, um, ball jointed um, shoulder. No bicep swivel, single point elbow, and just a regular wrist swivel. Has the um, Marvel um, double waist there. Has the um, even though it can swivel and crunch and all that at the um, upper, it gives you a swivel down here, which they could have made that solid and made that line um, one solid piece, which the paint would look a lot better. Um, but another trying to, to squeeze an articulation there. Um, it does have the simple ball socket style um, thigh, so you don't get a whole lot of movement out of it. It's more of a a swivelly, twisty thing. Then it has the double jointed knee, and then the um, swivel and pivot um, ankle, um, which is pretty cool. Has like the two different hands, the open and the punch. Um, so, yeah. now she does have one extra piece of articulation. Her hair can articulate away from her head. Um, that happened like right after I took it out of the packaging. She has like a hydra look there. If I get, get another couple of these really cheap, I might have to repaint her yellow and and and. Uh, green and, and make it a Hydra um, Lady Hydra figure but yeah but anyway there's there's spider woman pretty cool um, actually now that I got her hair off and you can actually see her um, the back detailing there and the back's actually really sharp it just it's a shame the front wasn't as sharp you know but oh well 
I mean, she's not going to be viewed up close probably anyway, so let's stick her out of the way. And then we come to Iron Man. Now, like I said, this sculpt, he's been around, you know, three or four different iterations. Um, I think I've got at least, at least two others just like this. Plus you have like the blue stealth, it's the same mold. But it's a great mold. It really, uh, it really does look like the classic era, um, Iron Man. It, black's not perfect on his neck there, but the, the rest of the paint just looks great. Um, but uh, he's got the basic um, articulation. Swivel, swivel shoulder, swivel bicep, single point elbow. He does have a swivel wrist. He's got a ball jointed head there. He's got the um, ball jointed diaphragm type joint. No additional swivel. He does have the same simple um, um, leg articulation with the little ball up there that kind of lets you kick it out and all that. Double jointed knee and the swivel and pivot ankle. Um, still a really cool figure. Really cool figure. Um, nice sharp paint, especially on the forehead there. That's awesome. Awesome paint job. Um, awesome. I'd give these guys. I would give these guys a ten if her paint had been sharp. So I just go nine and a half. Now she does have the basic articulation, and doesn't enjoy like the full-on articulation that some of the figures have. But especially with the ladies, with the smaller limbs and the arms, they do kind of pull back a little bit when it comes to articulation on those guys. Um, so uh, not too bad. And the blue isn't overwhelming. Some of the figures like the blue is in your face. I'm um, just looking at the uh, monitor here. Um, he doesn't even really show up on camera. It looks like it's highlights from the lights so eh, not too bad another great job um, from the guys at um, uh, Hasbro that have been doing all the Marvel Universe figures um, hope they keep on doing the three and three quarter inch line even though they've just started doing the um, uh, Marvel Legends again here in the past few months some of those figures are okay some of them are just like I think some of the new ones are garbage actually um, I've only picked up a few and uh, the few that I have I don't even have no op opened up yet I think I opened up the Captain America and that's it um, the Commander Steve Rogers, whatever, in his shield uh, uniform. But that's it for these two. If you if you have them, enjoy them, and if you don't have them, go get them. Awesome set. Marvel Universe, Iron Man, and Spider Woman Secret Wars 25th Anniversary Comic Two Pack. Nine and a half. Nine point five.